and maybe share some of it because I think people would like it and be excited because you're only going to be able to buy the stuff era for uh, this seven day grace period for you know, a thing and then we may, you know, we'll take it off sale and maybe it back on so it may actually be kind of cool for people to see it. Yeah, you want to go ahead and show some of that? Well, I'm just thinking, well, we just, you know, you can pick a few targets and maybe do that. It'd be kind of fun. Okay. Uh, I, I mean, you know, I think the Starfire is actually the coolest one. Why don't we show that when we hit uh, 500,000? Okay. So, uh, go ahead and pledge, guys. <laughs> Everybody buy a Starfire. Vote. Vote with your wallets. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm pretty excited about it. It's like kind of, it's like, it definitely feels like its own thing. In the same way that the, the Corvette felt like its own thing. Toast, um, of course, the moderator on the forum and I have spent a lot of time talking about the Starfare and the chat roll. And something that we would always bounce back and forth is the idea that there might be gases out there that one could acquire for industrial purposes, yep. like something, you know, just like any other mineral instead no, no, of simply fuel. We, no, we definitely, so there, there definitely is going to be the case where, you know, planets will generate, um, you know, basically resources. Mm -hmm. And so the same will also be like, Asteroid fields, and you know there'll be you know, whatever a gas giant, or you know you're in a nebula, and you can go and collect various different neon so, or yeah, it's, and it, yeah. And it wouldn't just be yeah, it's not just hydrogen or anything. And so some some may not necessarily be useful for say ship fuel, but some would be useful for manufacturing purposes. That then you would go and basically harvest it, and then you would fly to a, to you know a planet that has a factory that needs that kind of gas and so. I also frequently sit around chatting with my friends about industrial gases. <laughs> is that, is that unannounced. <laughs> yeah, we all did eat in uh, Mexican, so uh, that's kind of an industrial uh, Mexican. I want beans and rice, probably. Okay. Oh, are uh, you guys ready for the next Skype call? The uh, user whose name I will not mention again. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Yeah. It, is Dr. Hawk still alive over there? He's at IHOP. He's at IHOP for the very first time. Apparently, they, they don't have that in Canada. It's not as international as being <laughs> They just swill their maple syrup directly there. <laughs> well, I guess you, you can call this guy MD. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, kick him over to you. Yeah, pass them on in. All right. Producer. Helmsman. Uh, make video stuff happen. Wave <laughs> <laughs> your hand, wizard. Oh, okay. What's that? Disappeared. He. Uh oh. Okay. We may not have a Skype call with. Uh, it's it's going to be that owl. Is that a writing? No, Are those trolls from earlier still trying to call us? Yeah, let's talk to one of them. What's <laughs> <laughs> that guy's song? He never sang it. We asked him like six no, times. No, he sent a file. I, mean, I, don't think I think he posted it on the fan fiction. Oh, nice. Okay. I think. I don't know. There's a posting that was called My, my Fan Song. So I just. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I ask one more question that I've seen on the chat a bunch? And I love this one. Sure. I've seen it on the forums, I've seen it on the chat now. I love because we it's like origin jump works around the BMW as a manufacturer. Yeah. Right? People are picking out the between the 300 and the 350 <laughs> and the M50. <laughs> and it's like an M5 versus an M3 versus a 335i. I mean, can you help feel better about the fact that there's a difference between the 350 and the 350? I, I don't think the, three, the 350R is faster than the M50. I think the 350R is definitely the fastest version of 300 series. and. Uh, you know, but it, it it's uh, I would say the, the um, M fifty is probably a little faster. And it's, I mean, it's a, it's a it's a smaller form factor ship with two big engines on it. It's kind of got the same dual engine configuration as the three fifty R, but it's probably even lighter. So, um, it's like an A wing. I mean, the yeah. stats were had like what five tons lighter on the. The dual engines are rated TR4. Yeah, yeah, that's so. right. Yeah, it was one of those things I kept seeing come up on the forums, and it's like, even the stats bear this out. I don't know why this is a question, but yeah, it just kept coming up. I've been liking it to a stock car versus like an F1. Uh, yeah. What, the racing models themselves? Yeah, yeah, two racing models. Oh. You can do push. 
Does the 350R have a better mobility? Because it could turn into something like a Porsche versus the Lamb. The 350R has like a. Uh, it's got like it's got more room. It's got more cargo space. I mean, the, the, oh. M, the M50 is like it's 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 a purebred racer. It's like you get an F1 car like there's no room. I think you in the cockpit and the steering wheel. Whereas if you're in like an M5 or something, you know, you can have a couple of passengers. So. Really? <laughs> okay, so it's more like an M5 versus a Zonda then. A Zonda. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see them do a Top Gear special on our ships. <laughs> <laughs> Not outside the realm of possibility. <laughs> I wonder when the threads are going to start coming in since the um, engine. Cutlass and what, that, what they're related to Honda. I will start asking if the Cutlass is like the Civic and the Caterpillar is like the Acura. The Accord. So are we, are we trying to get a call in now or what's happening? Uh, we can't find this guy so we're thinking... Uh, He's asleep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, ex okay, so Master, Master Indeed. Dick, M Master, Master Dick, Dick. Yes. if you're out there, uh, contact us via Skype. But stop whatever you're doing. <laughs> and only we know how to spell the word. Only we and you know how to spell the word Dick Tat. So good luck, uh, <laughs> good luck trolls. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll just keep doing every possible. Way. You just poke the bear, Ben. You just poke the bear. <laughs> Let's get uh, get Big Richard Gary back here. Let's talk to him. Yeah. Richard Gary is Gary. You gotta tell your old malts going down. Yeah, I'll take some of that. Hey Ben, I just sent you an email yeah, with the guy. Sky Maybe we can patch him. Last, last? Sure. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. So, I reuse this one. I'm just rinsing. I know. What did you have in it before? Uh, the eighteen year finish and finish. I'm doing You're a, just doing a taste. Uh, I'm doing a tasting. Night is long. <laughs> I was going to ask, how have you guys been eating? <laughs> uh, we've been good. We had some nice. I mean, we haven't actually been that bad. I mean, I had a margarita at dinner, but not, nothing crazy. Um, hey Ben, yeah. are, you, are we prepped for the the uh, Starfarer reveal thing? Or? Uh we are prepped for the website. We just publish it, but.